Hello everyone. The paper I present today is titled uh, Targeted Field Bubbles Mitigating Bio Edges Insertion. Here is the outline of my present. The popularity of online social networks has not only changed the way that information is disseminated, but also leads to the field bubble phenomenon. That is, the personalization algorithms may limit information, enabling users to immerse themselves in current beliefs and interests. Field bubble bring a series of potential hazards, such as societal polarization and declining trust in public institutions. To address the field bubble phenomenon, existing works leveraging the influence propagation paradigm to ensure a more equitable information exposure, that is, the diffusion networks remain unchanged. In this paper, we conduct the first attempt to mitigate field bubbles by graph manipulation, that is, edge insertion strategy. Besides, we force only field bubbles for a given target node set. In this paper, we adopt the independent cascade model which is widely used in the literature. Generally, we suppose each node can be influenced by two viewpoints simultaneously. Furthermore, we propose the opening score for each target node. That is, if one node can be influenced by two viewpoints simultaneously with the probability larger than the given threshold, its openness score is one, otherwise it's zero. Based on this, the opening score for a given target node set Q is the sum of all opening scores for each node inside. Besides, we denote FQX as the opening score of the target node set after adding H in X. Here is our formal problem definition. In this paper, we aim to find an edge set X such that FQX is maximized. Here we prove the properties of our problem here. To address this problem, we first present a baseline method. To speed up the process, we further propose the sampling-based method. Finally, we propose a data-dependent approximation method with a theoretical guarantee. Here is the experiment set up in our paper. We first conduct the efficiency evaluation in our experiments. And here is the effectiveness evaluation. Finally, we conclude our paper here. 